I have an amazing team here at this show. From top to bottom, everyone here is fantastic. There's one, though, member of the Tamron Hall Show that I've had the longest relationship with. Uh, it spans, I don't know, more than 20 years plus, maybe a little longer than that. It is my trusted hairstylist to the stars, Johnny Wright. <laughs> Johnny has been with me for magazine covers. He's been with me um, when I've accepted great awards and have great honors. But for me, the most important part of our friendship and our pairing is really the trust and the love and support that he's offered me. And also, he cuts Moses' hair, by the way. Please welcome my dynamic duo partner, the one and only stylist to the stars, Johnny Rock. First of all, we're going to talk about Johnny has a book coming out very soon. I'll tell you about it. But we met when you were 21 years old. 21 years old, yep. You are now 45. You 44. Look great. 44. 44. <laughs> 44. He's 44. I've aged you overnight. <laughs> but you have done um, hair for some of the biggest stars uh, in the world. But you also became known um, as HOTUS, as we call you, the Hoda. hairstylist of Michelle Obama for the eight years uh, that she was in the White House. You were at her side for official portrait, and you also created the most talked about look, the bangs that she debuted at the State of the Union. How do you describe this journey from this kid who started out doing hair in your family's basement to going all the way to the White House? You know, it's the power of manifestation for me. I've always been an eternal optimist, and I always thought that Anything is possible, and if you could dream it, you can be it. And that's literally what happened with me in my career, oh. honestly. Um, I, I, um, I didn't know at the time that it would be the first lady, but I knew that I was going to have an exclusive, high-profile client. And it became her, and, and it's still you to this oh day, Oh, my God. Too. Well, <laughs> listen, thank you, honey. Thank you. Yeah, I'll be honest, though. Before Michelle Obama stole him as his first lady, <laughs> Michelle Obama, he was my hairstylist. And, and this is when I always tell people, to your point about manifesting what you want. Johnny was 21. I was a local news anchor in Chicago, and I was hosting an event. And he came over to me and said, I had a dream, and I told my mom, I'm going to do her hair one day. He'd yeah. seen me on the local news. And I so adored, first of all, that you were willing to come up and introduce yourself and ask for the shot. But then you had the goods. Yeah. Because you could do hair. Yeah, Listen, you. he can do some yeah. hair. Um, <laughs> It was really a gift that your grandmother. Yeah. You still have the. He still has his tools, the old school tools from like 1920s when people were hot combing with iron. Yeah. So my grandmother started doing hair when she was 13 years old. She's from Little Rock, Arkansas, and she did hair till she was 91, and she oh. passed when she was 93. 93. So this is about this is about 15, 20 years ago, and I still have her tools from when she was 13 years old. They're over 100 years old, so yeah. I, I, I was able to create a little sculpture of them and put them in a frame, and they're hanging it in my apartment It welcomes you now. when you go into Johnny yeah. House. You know, yeah. we had the other guests on who do home edit, um, Joanna and Clea. They started out as business partners and turned friends. We had a business relationship and yeah. turned into, he is my family. In fact, you were there. Johnny, I, I don't know if I've ever told this story publicly. Johnny, I was uh, at a share concert in Las Vegas, and Johnny happened to be in town. I had to call him to inject me with my IVF yes. needles because I was too nervous. And that's how deep our French. I said, Johnny, I hear you're here and I'm going to the airport and I'm too nervous to do this myself. My husband wasn't there. I was by myself. And we were in the back of an Uber. Yeah, we were. And he gave me one of my IVF injections. Yeah, Moses is my baby too. <laughs> <laughs> You're, and, and Johnny has cut Moses. He's had a couple of trims. He still has a lot of hair. Yeah. But you were there for the uh, magazine shoot. And this is a, a haircut he gave uh, Moses the other day. We have to bribe him with snacks to be yeah. still. <laughs> well, I mean, but hairstylists always have had a, a very um, close bond, if you will, trusted bond with clients. If you're yeah. a great one, you're almost like a therapist for me, too. Yeah, I, I, I take that with so much honor when people say that. And it's true. You know, the hairstylist and client relationship is a very vulnerable one, you know, because you're trusting somebody with your vanity. 
you know? And when you're in that space, you become very vulnerable and you, you release a lot of information about yourself, so... I've not told anything. I, <laughs> I, I've become a vault because yeah. I just don't want to... A trusted vault of yeah, information. Yeah, a trusted vault, just to, you know, because I want people to feel comfortable in my chair. And then I do celebrities. I can't be telling everybody business. <laughs> Anyway, I wouldn't have a job. But yeah, okay. it's really a, a very special and unique relationship. And I think that I have become the man that I am today because of the clients that have been in my chair. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, and full disclosure, while he has a, a huge celebrity lineup, you do hair for all kinds of people oh. around the country. We've gone to South Africa together to do charity work and philanthropic work. His heart is so, so big. And you're coming out with this book, which I love. It is part, I mean, you guys have seen the Cooking for Dummies and all of these things. It's a part of that Dummies series, which basically means you're breaking it down for everyone to understand. And you're doing this book, Natural and Curly Hair for Dummies, teaching people how to appreciate their natural hair. Absolutely. Yeah, um, the, the, the book is geared towards natural and curly hair, but as I was writing the book, I realized this book is just really a book about healthy, textured hair. Mm -hmm. So whether you are relaxed, whether you are a new natural or a seasoned natural, there's something in this book that is gonna help you with healthy hair along your healthy hair journey. And that's what I love about the book, because it's really about texture and keeping it healthy, and it's gonna be a lot to offer in this book. I well, I love that. that right now everybody is trying to get back to loving their hair. There's so much conversation about the hair of the crown, and, and you really want people to understand that there's an appreciation there, yeah. and this is who we are, and you can take care of that. It's our glory, right? Yeah. It's our crown and glory. And um, it, 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 I always tell people, a woman's hair is the first thing you hear before she speaks. And it could say a lot about her personality without her saying a word, you know? Is it whether she's sassy or elegant or conservative. And so I feel like what I do is a part of language. You know, I'm, I'm, it's, a, it's a part of a conversation. And so because of that, I, I wanted to let people know that Having healthy hair, you can speak any language oh, with well, it. What does my hair say about yeah. me, Johnny? They, 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 she gets on my nerves. That's what <laughs> <it is. laughs> oh, no, no, listen. That's why we are dear friends. Part of being a partnership is rooting and, 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 and supporting the people around you. I have always rooted for you, and you Thanks. have, more importantly, always rooted for Absolutely. me and been my friend. Yeah, yeah. Check out Johnny's book, The Book is called Natural and Curly Hair for Dummies. It is available now for pre-order.